Howdy folks. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I tore up my leg about a month ago and uh, haven't been able to do much. So I'm starting to kind of get back moving around, catching up on my other stuff as well. Um, so today I'm back working on the 56, working on the uh, brake and clutch pedals. So what I did, um, I've got another truck, a 1976 Ford that uh, I, you'll see in another video I have about. It's, uh, I put a water tank and a pump in the back of it. Anyway, it's a four speed. So I went to it and copied the template of the brake pedal or actually the clutch pedal because the brake pedal on that one has the larger one that an automatic would have. So I, I don't know if that's normal or not. It's a 76. But the clutch pedal looks like this and the brake pedal is the wide one but i've seen them normally they i thought they matched but i don't know this one's going to match clutch and brake lot of the same pad anyway so i copied the template of that cut it out in um what is this eighth inch yeah eighth inch plate so that's what i'll use as the pedals and ground it all down toward this fit right it took a little to, took a little test fitting but that looks like it fits good now um, here are the pads I'm using, Dorman 20729. These are what they used in, well, I don't know how many years, lots and lots of years. That's a common pad, so uh, I got those from Rock Auto real cheap. So um, I'm working on the clutch first. That's the worst one um, because it's so close to the steering column when I push down with the Mustang pedal. Uh, my foot hits the column, so... Did some test fitting and sitting in here, and I think what I'll do is I'm gonna line this up right with that edge of the pedal or the the lever, and then I'll you know run a piece of this across the back of the pedal or whatever I've got to make sure this is super strong because um, it's gonna get used a lot. But that gives me, if I put it there, that gives me good clearance between the column and the clutch pedal. Normally your foot will be here, so I should be fine. I can see once in a while I might brush that up against that, but not this. I mean, this just darn near hits it. It's so close, so um, I'll take it that or maybe a little bit farther. Anyway, I'm going to get this lever off and then uh, see what I need to do to remove this piece cleanly and then get that welded on there at the correct angle. So it'll be to test fitting, uh, tack it in, get in here, test it out. Um, make sure it's a good comfortable I'm, you know, that angle seems fine to me so I think I'll just keep the angle that it's the current pad is it just you know said move it over and make it bigger here's what I decided to do for the backing of the pedal is I found some heavy square tubing um, that will weld real nicely to that thing all the way around so that should be really strong considering the leverage I'm putting out by extending it off the side now I could come back and put an angle or something up to here really don't think i'm going to need to do that this is going to be it feels good and it's not the brake pedal so it's not um, there's not going to be as much as a you know emergency stop on a brake pad either so um, i think that'll be fine but what i did notice is when i welded it on there i squared it up to the the lever but it's going down a little bit in the pickup but when i get that one plate i can correct that i can weld it however i want and i space this out away from the thing away from the lever so when the brake pad wraps around it's not going to interfere so i gave myself a little bit of space cushion um, but i do think i'm going to put that pedal probably clear over here to where it's just barely in line with that that way i've got and it feels good sitting in here so i think that i think that'll be fine got this mocked up on there and i can take it off like that and tack weld it so i think i like the looks of that that's Plenty of clearance. Um, I'll tack it, put it back on there, and work it a little bit, make sure it feels good height-wise. Although there's not a lot of room for adjustment there. Um, my brake pedal, I think, might have to come down a hair once I get to that one, but um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Got it tacked on there and tested out. It feels good, so I'm going to pull it off fully weld it and then I'm gonna go rest my leg for a little bit and then come back and maybe work on the brake. Got the clutch assembly painted and reinstalled with the new pad. I like how that came out. Plenty of 
clearance there for my foot between the steering column. I think that'll work just fine. So I've got the brake assembly out right now working on doing the same thing to it. But so far uh, I'm making good progress here on this. Here's my progress on the brake assembly. Um, basically the same concept, extended out a little bit. Uh, being that this is the brake, I want a little more strength to it, so I've added that gusset there. Um, I think that ought to be just fine. That gives me some good reinforcement. Since this is going to take the brunt of the abuse. Um, so I'm going to wait for it to cool down, and then I'll get some paint uh, stuck on there, and then I'll come back and get it installed. Have the brake reinstalled here's my finished product much better than the little mustang pads i had so liking this good clearance between everything um, between the gas pedal and the steering column everything's comfortable sitting behind the wheel uh, height wise is all good seems a little high but um i compared it to the 92 Dodge uh, <clears throat> pickup that we have and they're pretty much about the same. It just, it's just a little high to lift off but as far as the clutch goes the guy needs quite a bit of travel to fully compress that so uh, it is what it is. Not perfect but feels pretty comfortable to me. Brake is much better and this is much better too. I'm not running my foot into the steering column when I push down on it which is a major safety issue. Um, I don't care for the looks of that gusset plate that I added to the brake, but it's peace of mind. I'd rather have it a little extra strong and um, have it flex under load, so that feels really good, even putting lots of pressure on it. So I can live with that, I think. We'll move on to the next thing.